Baby Jesus amongst the rubble, a twist to the traditional nativity scene to reflect the images coming out of Gaza. Thousands of Palestinians are feared to be buried under the ruins of what was once their homes. Uh, the images here are of the Magis and the shepherds uh, looking for, uh, for Jesus. We kept the light on as if to say there is a small bright of hope uh, in the midst of this destruction. During the Christmas season, eyes turn to Bethlehem, the birthplace of Christianity. Palestinians say they cannot turn a blind eye to the relentless Israeli bombardment of Gaza. If Jesus is to be born uh, again uh, this time, this year, he will be born uh, in Gaza, under the rubble, in solidarity uh, with the people uh, of Gaza. This is how the city looked in early December of 2022. Joyous and bracing to receive more pilgrims during one of the highest touristic seasons. This is the manger square near the Nativity Church. The tree should have been put up here, but it will not be installed this year. There are no lights, decorations. And Palestinians say instead of celebrating what should have been a festive season, they're now united in pain. With no pilgrims or visitors coming to the city, the majority of the hotels shut their doors. We are with zero occupancy from 7 of October. And as you saw, the hotel is empty. In uh, October 2022, the hotel was uh, fully booked all the period from October uh, till the end of the year after Christmas. Overshadowed by war, celebration may have been cancelled, but prayers don't stop. Father Ishaq is too a native of Bethlehem. In his sermon, he urged people to find hope despite the darkness. Many here say all they want this Christmas is peace. But that seems further away than ever.